Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, so I'm in the Make the Cut software, and in this tutorial, it's just going to be a short little overview of one of the new features that was implemented in the version of 1.1.0. It was requested by people, which is the autofill. So let's go ahead and get started to show you how it works. It's quite simple. If you're wanting to autofill, you know, your mat with a certain shape, uh, all you have to do is, you know, take that shape or whatever you're trying to um, autofill or duplicate and stick it up here in the left-hand corner. This is so that it will maximize the whole mat and use the whole mat um, based upon where we place the star. And I'll show you that as soon as we duplicate this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Duplicate and Autofill. And once you do that, um, this window will appear. Now I'm going to type in 30 and see what happens. And as far as spacing, I have it separated at uh, 0.25 inches apart. So we're going to hit OK, and let's see what happens. All right, it just uh, auto-filled the mat, and as you can see, there's not 30 stars, so it's one of the safety features that's put into uh, this little program, is that it's not going to put too many of, you know, of what you're trying to auto-fill if your mat can't handle it, uh, which is which is great, you know, so, you know, you as the user can't type in 5,000 and have all those stars off the mat, so it's a uh, it's pretty good pretty good deal. Um, I'm going to show you the feature on if you place if you don't place it in that top left hand corner what it's going to do. It's just going to start the autofill based upon where the star is or object is currently at. Um, go through the same thing, edit. Then we're going to go to duplicate autofill. We'll do the same thing, 30, and we'll see how many stars we get. There you go. So uh, it's one of the built-in safety features. So don't don't get worried. Like hey, this isn't working. It's uh, it's meant to work that way. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDude.com, and I will see you next time. Thank you.